Riots about to erupt after Minnesota just handed full control to Muslims to take down infidels. The cancer of Islam is rapidly spreading across the planet thanks to liberal politicians who keep letting these vermin invade Western countries. As terror attacks committed by Muslims are now becoming an almost everyday occurrence, what's even more horrifying is that Distraught citizens are being silenced for speaking out against Islam as we continue to see people across Europe being imprisoned for saying negative things about Muslim as Islam anti-blasphemy laws are now being held up in courts. While we would expect that sort of nonsense to go on in countries like Canada and Germany, that very sort of thing was just established in Minnesota. Muslims understand that in order to establish their global caliphate ruled by Sharia law, they must first infiltrate every facet of westernized society through massive immigration and breeding. As these Muslim invaders infest our government, our schools, and our law enforcement agencies, Muslims are working furiously to silence Americans who are calling them out, which is why we see Muslims constantly labeling people Islamophobes and bigots as a way to bully American citizens into submission. Anti-blasphemy laws have been a massive victory for Muslims across the world, as now followers of Islam can have people who speak out to critic or criticize their religion thrown into prison. In an unprecedented and unconstitutional move, liberal politicians, Minneapolis, Minnesota, have just set up a hotline where Muslims call, can call in and report any American who harasses or speaks out against their religion. While this sounds like something you'd read off of a conspiracy website, it's really happening. According to Minneapolis's local newspaper, the Star Tribune, the hotline was set up as a way to target Trump supporters who Muslims believe are the group of people most likely to harass them, the Star Tribune reported. The city of Minneapolis has set up a hotline for residents to report hate crime incidents and other acts of intolerance. The service operated through the city's 311 helpline is aimed to aid targets of any harassing behaviors motivated by prejudice, according to a city news release issued on Monday. The announcement comes amid signs of a recent surge of such incidents affecting Muslims and Jews across the country, many of which go unreported. Since the general election, many of us have experienced, witnessed, firsthand or heard of actions of racism, xenophobia, sexism, and bigotry directed at people here and in cities across the United States. Minneapolis Department of Civil Rights Director Velma Corbell wrote in a statement posted on the city's website, In no uncertain terms, hate-motivated speech and actions have no place in Minneapolis, nor will they be tolerated. The City Department of Civil Rights, along with mayor, uh, the mayor, is leading the charge for this government-enforced fascism as this new hotline will now encourage citizens to turn in their neighbors for holding opinions deemed forbidden by the state. This hotline flies right in the face of our United States Constitution, where it goes to the heart of denying American citizens their inalienable rights of the First Amendment, which governments can not do. Of course, the rabid liberals controlling the city have little regard for the Constitution or the rights of Americans as they are using their position to establish a soft version of anti-blasphemy laws. In no uncertain terms, hate-motivated speech and actions have no place in Minneapolis, nor will they be tolerated. Minneapolis Department of Civil Rights Director Velma Corbell wrote in a statement posted on the city's website. The department echoes the unconstitutional sentiments of Minneapolis's Mayor Betsy Hodges, 
who went on to blast President Trump, pushing her insane narrative of there being an epidemic of bigotry and hate in our country since he, uh, he got into office, she stated. Really? I will not compromise the public safety of the people of Minneapolis to satisfy Trump's desire to put politics before public safety. Minneapolis is being built and strengthened by people from all over the world, and I am grateful for their commitment to our city. Really? I stand with them today and will continue to take that stand as the president-elect prepares to take office. This is absolutely insane that an anti-blasphemy hotline is being established in our country as the city of Minneapolis is clearly violating the doctrine of separation of church and state. But startlingly, uh, starting, uh, startlingly, this is only the beginning of Democrats' plan for a full-blown fascism in our country. Hillary Clinton advanced a United Nations resolution, UN Resolution 16-18, that encourages nations to criminalize a person who defames or criticizes a person's religious views. This hotline is m nothing more than a sneaky backdoor approach to establishing full-blown anti-blasphemy laws in America and trying to normalize the concept of turning in your neighbor for the opinion, for their opinion is nothing short of chilling especially when you think of the what went on with the Nazis in 1930. Share this story to expose what is going on right under our noses. This is nothing more than a sneaky attempt to silence Americans from speaking out against the very people who want to kill us. Very, very poignant statement there. Uh... This is insanity. And, you know, meanwhile, your taxpayer dollars are going to fund these people on welfare. They're not giving Americans the welfare. They're giving the uh, Muslims coming into the country full, full benefits. Just a heads up so you know. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And again, thank you so much for watching.